Hey there, and welcome back to our Nuzlocke playthrough. Pokemon Shining Pearl. We got a Piplup, a Bidoof, a Starly, and a Cricketot. Decent little group. Made our way to Orbor, right? So what's this place? Yeah, Or Orberg. Orberg City. We gotta find the gym leader. Apparently he's out in the mine. He's digging under the sea. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, choppity. Hello, sir. What's going on? Mine. I can't walk over here. <gasps> oh! It's an encounter. It's a geodude. It's a rock made of rocks. Let's just go for it. Bag him and tag him. It's gonna die if we use water gun, so let's just pound it. Got the storm, really? What you're doing is wasting my time, Mr. Geo. Thinking of names to name our Geo. Alright, oh, just use X. Cool. Got a shortcut. Too. That's fun. It's a good addition to the newer games. It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contest of toughness. Sounds like me in high school. And he doesn't have a footprint, which is kind of funny. Would you like to give Geodude a nickname? Yes, we have to. Alright. Um... Not very clever, but it'll work. Boulder. And where are we? Does it say yet? Let's look at this bad boy. Orberg Mine. So that was our encounter for Orberg Mine. Write that down. It happily eats anything. Fantastic. So it's hardy, so it has no no negative, no plus. It's got sturdy. Sturdy's really good for a for a nuzlocke. Oh. Is that a wild Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Out of nowhere. Beat him up. Spit on him. Tweet. Well, he didn't have sturdy. Yay, level up. Ooh, roll out. Cool. Now, I don't remember what level the gym leader is going to be. I think probably like 13 or 15? So I'm probably going to level up, at least my pip up to level 15 before doing the gym leader. Oh, we could have had Zubat. 
a wild zoo there. So many random crits with Piplo. That's supersonic. Oh, Piplo. Dang. Why'd you do so much damage to yourself? Tell it was a geodude because it looked just like a rock. Oh, didn't have dirty. Cricketot leveled up. And he's evolving already? I did not realize he evolves that fast. Oh my goodness. He must not be good at all. It's a Cricketune. Giant lobster with a mustache. signals its emotions with its medley. Scientists are studying these melodic patterns. Fantastic. Ooh, furry cutter. What's up, dude? Chop, chop. More geodudes. <laughs> Look at those double zeros. Hello, sir. <gasps> Snuck his Pokemon to work. Worker Mason. Is that supposed to be a pun or a joke? It's got a machi. Three hit game. Oh, dang. <gasps> He's getting pumped. It's a pair of sneakers. Gun him in the face. You something. Now give me money. Kind of a bully, aren't you? You go around forcing people to give you money. Hello. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move, rock smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you can get the badge from the gym in town, you will be able to do this. By whose authority? Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. And that'd be me! As I run away. Macho! Quick battle on his break. He's 
skipped lunch so he could fight us. Geodude? Where did you find a Geodude? Is it weird that Geodude floats? How come he doesn't have Levitate for an ability? Kinda weird. He leveled up Naughty and Boulder. Ooh, we got plus one, so it's defense and speed this time. Rollout? Yes, of course. Oh, we need defense curls, don't we? Sandstorm could be useful, maybe? doing to him. He prayed out with mercy. Skip rope. Oh, I can't go this way. So borrow Jupiter. I bet we did. Nothing over here, no items? Waste of time. It's a Geo dude. Again. It's got dumb weird Popeye arms. And sturdy. And rock polish. He's very smooth now. Smoother. It's level fourteen, all right. Sense is up there. Copper is getting up there. God, the encounter rate's too high. It's too darn high. It's got a little Muppet mouth thing. I mean, he is. He does look like a Muppet, doesn't he? That'd probably be an easy puppet to make a Judy puppet. What am I even talking about? Oh my god. Okay, I mean, I'll take that, because it'll give me uh, some experience. Oh, wow. Pretty fast. And he's dead. Just leave the mine and there's just bodies all over the place. No one can walk around. There's dead Pokemon everywhere. I mean, fainted Pokemon, but still, they all just be knocked out, lying around. Doesn't really make any sense why you can't catch a Pokemon after you knock them out. Like, I get the game mechanic point of it. going on? He's faster than me and he double flinched me? Is that what happened? Oh my god. Please miss. Really? What is the accuracy of Super Saiyan? Isn't it like 55? Thank you. 
was a very awkward fight. Oh boy. Another Zubat. You know what that means. Run away! Oh my god. What is with this game? Like, if I didn't need to do a little bit of grinding, I'd use a repel. This is getting nuts. There we go. they usually put rock types in like the very first gym leader because rock types are kind of tricky I mean if you pick like Charmander for gen 1 you know you're kind of out of luck like I know they're technically easy because they're four times weak to grass and water which are common types but still like it's the opposite. They're either super easy or super hard. Oh, now, now I can't get in the counter. Before I couldn't go two steps. Now, now I can't get any. Okay, that's fair game. This game's well made. Stupid. get naughty up to level 13. Let's see how that goes. So, there we go. Two more levels. Peck. What's the difference? 35? Well, we don't need Growl and Charm. Ta-da! Naughty. Is Piplup gonna level up at 16? No, the do do Their levels up, double zeros. Cool. Harden. Already no defense curl. Wait, need no Harden. Why would you even have that 
move. I already have defense card. That's just weird. Look at him. Fall into print club. Ooh. It its wings deliver wicked blows that snap even the thickest of trees. It searches for prey in icy seas. Where is there an icy sea in Pokemon? Metal Claw. Cool. Should we get rid of Pound then? 50, 95 accuracy. Sure. Now we can beat up Rock types because we got a Steel Move. Oh, wait. Metal Claw does. Well, it's physical and not special. And it's not stink. But it's still one shots. That's cool. Hooray! Got some level ups. No, but if didn't learn anything. Disappointing. Oh, that's kind of sad. All right. Do we have any HMs? We've got Rock Smash. You can do it three times. We could teach it to our Bidoof in case he needs to come out. Let's see what we got. We got Tuxedo Mask. Special attack is the same. Oh my god, he's so weak compared. He's got decent attack. He's got better attack. He's got Kenai. He's actually our second best Pokemon. Oh my god, Geodude. Got some decent attack there, huh? They got Rollout, Tackle, Struggle Bug, the Attack. Got him, Rock Smash. So nobody's doing any damage to other Rock type Pokemon. Kind of sad. All right. Oh, we 
get some more trainers. Sub heavy. Gym leaders use your rock types. Yep. Thanks for the advice. And we got a little kid that we're gonna beat up named Jonathan. And his little Geo dude. Water gun. Too easy. And we got a level up. Cool. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. <laughs> yep, we don't challenge anyone and we don't think we can beat. Oh wow, he evolves already? Is he gonna get intimidate then? Because he is an intimidating bird now. Just Arabia. Added to the Pokedex. They live in forests and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when blocks collide. Alright, let's see what Bidoof can do. I'm sorry, Naughty. Should I call them by their nicknames? I guess I should. Oh, God, there's a giant sun in here. Smash works. That's a cool animation. Uh -oh. Setting up. Uh oh, he's setting up. Didn't set up. Well, not nice. Dang, he's faster than I. Dang. That was a crit. <laughs> I was gonna say that did more than the Geo dude. I can't switch out now. One of the worst moves ever. Whoever came up with buying should be fired. Especially in Gen 1. That and Rap. I get the concept, but it just does not work. Just straight up no fun. So does about a quarter. Quarter health of damage with his rock smash. This is some affiliating. Eh, you're still young. Even though we're kind of the same height, I'm just larger. If anything, we can just throw Cricketot under the bus. Or maybe Boulder. Hello, sir. This is the Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that you battle with. Does it require the gym leaders only use one typing? Oh, he's got three mods, huh? You do Onyx and 
Graveler. Nose pass. Well, you don't have sturdy. Geodude. Onyx. Ooh, a fast one. No, oh, this one's got sturdy. Ooh, stealth rock. He's setting up. That might that could actual that could actually factor into this battle. I need to remember that. Oh, he wastes his potion on the onyx. I was about to say if I gave him full health, then he didn't waste it. But he's going down. Absorb. That might help. Twenty. Oh, that's pretty low. Still, it's better than a bug type against a rock type. I want fury cutter. It can be good. Absorb instead. Alright. Take down the next Pokemon like did the others? Yes. Granados. Mold Breaker. Alright. Should we just go for it? Or should we set up? I think we should set up. Oh, good. He's faster. And he's uh, using a flitch move. All right. Come on, Priplup. All right, if we get critted, we're probably dead. We'll use one potion. That'd be all the potions we can use. That didn't do too much, did it? But now he's pretty much neutered. As long as we don't get critted, I think we should be good. Oh! Alright. We went in a little too hot and heavy. Ooh. Yeah, we want headbutt. Get out of here, tackle. Headbutt instead. And our Geodude leveled up. Why, that can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Yeah, give us all your money. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single trip badge. What crap does that mean? But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you beat me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. Yeah, thanks for following the rules, jerk. We count the badge. You can use hidden move rock smash. Also take this. TM76. Stealth rock. Yeah. Stickers. Scratch and stiff. Oh god. Scratch and sniff stickers, I hope. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but the TM will break when you use it, so be certain. It's the Pokemon you want to learn the move. Alright. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Though, 
he did have headbutt and flinch. So we did one shot him though. So we didn't need to charm him, but it was a it was an effective strategy. Alright. So we got our first badge. What? Coal mining and you. Cool. What's up, nerds? Fossils. Look at all the fossils. Whoa. So this is coal. Never expected something so big. Sure. That's it. It's just there to look into. Can't break those rocks. That's weird. What's up here? Okay, 207. Let's get an encounter at 207. That's dupes. We got ourselves a cricket tot already. Level six. Down he goes. Nothing. Found a Pokeball. A single Pokeball. Hello. Do I have a bike? There's a cycle shop in the Eternia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try two more times. <gasps> Found another Pokeball. All I had to do was mash A. Any Pokemon? Any Pokemon? Hello? Just a Geodude. Try one more time. All right. This is nothing new in two oh seven. Let's also try to share the wealth. So there's nothing up there. That's a weirdo. Uh oh. Thud. Whoops. Stop it. We got the gym badge, huh? Eternia is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Tubalife City. Next stop, Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine, but who's got the time to count? Thank you. Let's get the hell out of here, sir. Already got an encounter in here. Right. 
quick attack. Let's go. So where's it turn at city? Oop. Map is a separate thing. Aroma Town. Turn Forest. Oh, wow. It's gonna be a while till we get there. Whoa! Ah, stop it. Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see it to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Stop it! Let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. Sure. Stand up for the weird professor. And have little kids fight terrorists. Let's go, Bidoof. Not very effective. Oh, it's fighting, it's not a rock type. Why does it say effective? And is it because I don't know the type? It's weird. Horrible family. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. I guess it still counts as nice, but... My bulk cut didn't help me. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children. This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. I think my bangs are crooked. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Sure. So they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? I think that's their organization. They probably have different names, though. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. <laughs> what does that mean? I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, stop it. We'll be done. I'm sorry, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Because I don't just pick any random child. Stop it! Did you know that the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some unexpected Pokemon must undergo evolution too. So, stop it. Let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Because otherwise, we have nothing else to do. Hello, stranger. Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Woo! That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Baby, and I work as a system administrator in Hawthorne City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll access my Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules, too. Ball capsules. Now, you can use capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by playing stickers on ca ball capsules. Put stickers on a favorite Pokemon ball. The capsule will look pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will give you the edge of the Super Sword. I'll try to pick it up on it. See you later. That was a bunch of nonsense. Route 204. Let's see if there's anything different around here. <gasps> cool! Something different. Shinx, I believe. Oh. Bag him and tag him.
Peasy peasy. Oh my god. Sheep's data is added to the Pokedex. It, its four legs have a muscle based system of generating electric electricity. Its body shines when it is in danger. Well, that's not good. Yes. Give him a nickname. Our electric Shinx. Hmm. What would be a good nickname? Uh, I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Edison has been added to the party, and he'll probably be useful. Alright. Well, on that note, we got our first badge. We've met up with the evil terrorist Team Galactic in their bulk cuts. And we just got a new member of the party. We finally have a full six-member group. So that's pretty cool. If you enjoy this, please join me next time on our continuation of Nuzlocke and Shining Pearl.